Hi everybody, it's two o'clock on a Friday and today I'm gonna to show you how to make this envelope style card. And inside it has a little money loop. So cute, I'm using Lawn Fawn Elephant Parade and the new My Favorite Things money loop. So it's pretty cute. So stay with me and I'll show you how to make it. All right. Hi, Patty. Happy Friday. This is an adorable little card. Uh, now, I've made this as a baby card, but you can also make it as a birthday card. It has that option on here. Um, happy birthday that you can put into the banner. So it's pretty cute. And then they have um, a little cupcake with a peanut in it and hearts and all sorts of little things that you can add to it. So it's it's a really cute little stamp. So here I've got the mom and the baby and little mouse and hello baby. And then when you open it up, it says welcome little peanut. And I've got the cupcake with the peanut, mommy and baby. And then this is the money loop. Now the money loop is new from uh, my favorite things and there's two ways of doing it which i will show you so you just roll your money up and this looks like that one it's flat and then you put the sides up and then you can just put your money in there you can roll your money your check and this style of card gives you the space to allow the thickness okay and it does fold flat so it goes down to like that okay and then you can open it up all right i'm going to show you how to make it all right I'm going to start with a four and a quarter by five and a half card. And then I have a backing that I am going to actually put the card on. So this card actually must be, let's let me see it. It must be smaller. It's five and a quarter by four. So the card's a little smaller and then the backing would be four and a quarter by five and a half. All right, so we'll put that on. Okay. And then I am going to put this yellow piece. So this piece would be three and a quarter or three and three quarters by five. Okay. All right, now, oh, I shouldn't have put this on yet. I'm ahead of myself. I am ahead of myself. Okay, I've got this piece of cardstock. This is in my stash. This is three and a quarter inches square. And what I'm gonna do is, I am going to draw a score line from point to point on the diagonal. So I'm just going to run it along here. And it's so nice to have this black line there that I drew. I use it all the time when I'm doing a diagonal. And then I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm going to fold it over like so. Okay. And then I'm going to take this. 
and I'm going to add some adhesive just on one side. All right, just on one side. And I'm going to put it where the card opens. And I'm going to line that up. Okay, and I'm going on the right-hand side of the score line. Okay, and then it goes like that. I did that wrong again. I, I need to uh, start all over. <laughs> all right. So I'm opening it up. This is the front. I was ahead of myself. And I'm putting it to the right of the score line. Okay, so now it looks like that. And then this folds over nicely. Okay. So just a recap on that. The opening is at the top. The fold is at the bottom. And then this piece here, is three and three quarters scored on that diagonal and then you're going to just put it on to the back of the card so that the top opens like this all right there we go now i can put it on to my four and a quarter by five and a half inch mat all right there we go I definitely wasn't thinking. Okay, so now we're going to do some stamping. So on the front of my card, I am going to I'm not sure I'm going to stamp anything. I don't really have any baby cards that I need. So I might just save this and make it into a birthday card. So I don't think I'm gonna stamp anything. I don't know. Oh, but I didn't, I think somebody said they needed a baby card. So I guess I could. Cause I, I really don't have any babies. But that's right. I remember Gail said she needed some. So here we go. All right. So we'll give that a stamp. do that again. There we go. And then I have the little flag that says Hello baby. And that's right here. So we'll take that. I also want to stamp on the inside. So I'm just going to go here. All right. And I'm going to stamp. Welcome little peanut. Oops, so I'm going to put that about there. Okay. Such a cute little card here. Alrighty. Then that off 
And now I have my little flag. Put that on. And this one says, hello, baby. And they give you a variety of sentiments that you can put on the flags. And there we go. Okay. All right. I'm going to bring back my card. And of course, I got ink on it. What's new? So it folds up like this and like this. Now, I want to have this close easy. So I am going to use one of the elephants as a closure so that you can just tuck it behind it. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some foam tape on the back of it of this elephant. How's everybody doing today? Anything planned for the weekend? I hear there's a few crops going on. Anybody going to crops? Well, that's nice, Liz. She got a day off. I have to put this down a bit lower. Days off are nice. I had one yesterday. And I'm working tomorrow. So. All right. So I'm going to put this guy right here so that it tucks under. See that? So you can lift that up and he tucks under there. And then I'm gonna put this guy on like so. So it's basically on there and it will lift up when the card is opened. So I'm just gonna kind of position it so it looks like that. I could actually put that under a little bit more. And then when you open it, it looks like that. And when you close it, it looks like that. Get that under there. Okay. All right. Now I've got my little baby. And I'm just not going to pop dot this one. I'm just going to put a flat holding the mama's tail. And then we have a little mouse. Isn't that just adorable? Well, that's good, darling. You can work on those tomorrow. Uh, like I said, I am going to be here tomorrow, so I might do a video. I don't know what of, but just to say hello. Do a little video. Open this up now. Now I'm going to put this guy in. Welcome, little peanut. And I have a little cupcake. And I have another little mouse. Pretty darling, I think, eh? Okay, now, with this die, 
you get two of the money loops. One of the money loops you can cut into your paper. Before I would assemble this, I could cut that. And then it just goes right into your paper. And then the second one is a separate money loop. Oops, like so. All right, and this is the one I'm going to use. So I'm just going to put some adhesive on the back and put it right here. Like that. Make sure it's straight. There we go. And then you just take your money and slide it through. And there you go. How cute is that? So this should actually be down a bit because of the, there, because it kind of bows. So I'm going to put that like that. And there you go. There's your envelope card with your money loop. Adorable. Adorable, adorable, adorable. Now, you could have um, any critters on here, of course, or you could even do, yes, Judy, I'll put a money loop away for you. You could do flowers, you could do whatever, um, and then just have your money loop inside. But it, it's just a great, I don't know, I have... Uh, a 16 year old that would love just money and sometimes I don't know what gift card to buy or whatever so just putting money in a card is uh, just a great idea for me all right and this style of card worked out perfect I was trying to figure out a card that would um, give it depth like that and then I found this one and I found this on YouTube and I believe it was, I don't even remember. I was watching a lot of, of Lisa Caruso, Caruso, so maybe it was hers. But anyways, I think it's really cute. So here's the money loop. And here is the stamp set. It's called Elephant Parade. And it's adorable. And there's a die that goes with it. Okay. And there's your money loop. Money loop is $12.79. All right. There's your baby cards. All right. I have, so the Mama Elephant um, Parade, or not Mama Elephant, the uh, Lawn Fawn Elephant Parade was a new stamp. And then I got, I still have a, fly high one and I have the wheelie great great day I have the happy Easter add-on and then I also have a uh, how you being buttons add-on okay so that's what I have left of the new release in the lawn fun so if you're waiting for anything like that let me know I also have I think maybe I'll, I'll do this one tomorrow and, and do a few cards using this one um, for fun. There's all sorts of different things you can do with that. So um, I'll show you how tomorrow I'll do some cards using this giant outline happy birthday. Okay. All right. So I'll come on at two for that. Um, I also have a new card kit. It's a friendship card kit. And these are the cards. This is a hello one. And then this opens up. They're really quick little cards. This is a bridge one for well wishes. This is a thinking of you. Get well. This one is just a friendship card. 
cute card. Again, a friendship card, and this one's an easel. It stands up like that. And this one is uh, friendship again. Don't worry about a thing. It's so cute. It's nice to send these cards to your friends. It's a hello card. And then this is a thank you card. Okay, so there's actually eight cards here. All right. So there's eight cards. And I think I'll just do $20 on it. Just a quick, it's got quick little cards. And they are, um, so I'm just going to do 20 on it. And there you go. Okay. All right. I hope you enjoyed it. I think it's adorable. So I hope you try it. I know I'm behind on my hand down, so I'll try and get some done for you. Um, and then I'll post them up, okay? So hopefully I can get a few done tonight. So thanks for joining me. I will put away the money loop for you, um, Judy. And you also have the uh, monthly scrap pages are ready. Have a great weekend, everybody. And Cindy will be back next Tuesday. So we'll have her here then too, okay?